Hello, Dr. Joe here of the drjoe.com and the 2020from.com. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about some foods that can make us gain a couple of pounds this season. In actual fact, uh, you could gain more than a couple of pounds depending on how often you consume these foods. Now, there's something about this time of the year, the shorter days and the longer nights that make us crave these foods. Now, the idea behind this video is that you become aware of these foods and hopefully you will avoid consuming them. Even if you do consume them, you want to do so sparingly uh, to avoid accumulating uh, these calories that you cannot expend. Because uh, what compounds the problem is that uh, because the weather is not so great outside, so we have less opportunities for outdoor recreation, which means we don't get to exercise as often as we should. And uh, that makes us pile on the pounds, especially when we're consuming these foods. Now, the bedrock to uh, this problem is the fact that these foods, they contain refined flour, they got starch, and then they got grease, lots of fat, uh, which uh, carry lots of calories and uh, if you don't expand them you're gonna store them as fat so uh, this video is gonna be in two parts I'm gonna give you six examples in this uh, very video and then in part two I'm gonna uh, show you some more examples so let's get on with it so food number one uh, what we've got here we've got a creamy chicken noodle soup okay looks yummy ordinarily soups are supposed to be great for this time of the year you come back home from work uh, you crave a nice soup uh, and soups are supposed to be low energy foods but when you got cream like you have in this uh, very example uh, heavy cream double cream uh, you are asking for more calories so that's food number one let's look at food number two what we've got here we've got deep fried potato pancakes also called lacquer now uh, you know potato pancakes are okay but what is the problem here well what we've got here is that uh, the uh, potatoes are deep fried uh, which means they soak up a lot of oil and uh, you're going to consume all of that oil and if you don't uh, get to uh, burn it by exercising uh, then of course you're going to pile on the pounds so that's food number two let's move on to food number three example number three what we've got here we've got deep fried pizza okay looks nice um i gotta be honest with you up until about two years ago i didn't know that people actually deep fried pizza <laughs> honestly i didn't know uh so uh what was the problem with that well pizza on its own is a processed food it's not ideal uh then you go ahead and uh, you soak it up in oil deep fry it and it soaks up more oil and what you got there you got starch you got fat uh, recipe for piling on the pounds okay so uh, not a great example there so uh, food number four I think yeah food number four uh, what we've got here we've got chicken pot pie okay looks yummy okay it's got some vegetables in there green peas uh, some carrots uh, nice recipe so what's wrong with it well it's the flour okay the flour is what's wrong with it refined flour that is a problem okay so uh that's food number four uh food number five ah a very popular one uh this is mac and cheese pie okay mac and cheese pie looks yummy okay um ordinarily supposed to be a good food but not something you want to try this season uh macaroni starchy cheese fat lots of saturated fat and all of that fat is going to get stored uh, because you're not going to have the opportunity to burn it off uh the equivalent of that is pounds piling up okay so uh not a great food to be having uh, at this time of the year so let's move on to food number six what we've got here we've got creamy chicken soup with pasta mmm lovely okay lovely another soup example soups are supposed to be great uh, so what's wrong with this well we've got cream uh, which is probably heavy cream and uh, or double cream and uh, we've got pasta there which is starch a combination of starch and fat 
uh, usually you, you you will be asking for trouble uh, with that combination because uh, they are both high energy foods and uh, if you don't have the opportunity to actually exercise often uh, and if you eat that uh, often as well then you are asking for more pounds more fat uh, and that will result in uh, weight gain so uh, those are just six examples uh, uh, in today's video I probably do video number two to give you some more examples so you become more aware of uh, these foods that potentially can result in uh, weight gain so um, hopefully you'll avoid them and uh, also hopefully you got some value from this video if you did uh, please uh, give the video a thumbs up please like the video and also please share this video with your friends family and colleagues now are you one of those people who uh, crave these foods please do let me know in the comment section below and uh, are you someone who likes soup uh, but you like cream with your soup <laughs> please do let me know as well uh, in the comment section below um, I think that's about it until next time well this is Dr. Joe signing ah